Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't take this is actually take two of the video that we're going to be list abiding by here. But that being said, I digress from the statement that I was originally gonna start with. When I was scourging the internet for topics to talk about, I came across a very interesting statement that I honestly have mixed emotions about. The statement itself was couples are wrong to stay together for the kids. This is something very interesting to say, because quite frankly, it depends on the couple. So are they wrong to do so? That really depends. First of all, the child who was born, was it intentional, as in consented by both sides to the degree, well, first of all, before I say this, what well, finish what I was going to say, this statement bases off the idea that the couple argues all the time. This doesn't happen to everyone. With that said, was the child intentional in a way where both sides consented on the same level, no forcefulness in intended at all? Because otherwise, that's not what I mean. S there are circumstances where both can agree, but one feels more forced to do it. That's why they agree. That's not what I mean. I mean in the sense where both of them are equivalently on the same mindset, same level, going, maybe this will help. Let's do it. You know it. You're right. Let's do it. That kind of thing. Or was it the opposing? That is one of the bigger things that can really impact whether this statement I just said at the beginning was actually true or not. Couples are wrong to stay together for kids? Yes or no? Well, first of all, let's go off of this first thing. It's kind of a tree of different scenarios. But for the first question, if the answer is yes, it was consented on for both ends with the same mindset, then you're going down the path uh, that could be, yes, it can actually be good, so no, it is not wrong. However, if even one, if even for like a split moment, the mindset was not agreed on, then the answer to that then would be, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a good idea, and yeah, it can lead to the idea of it, it can be wrong to stay together for that kind of thing, because if one person in their mind alone is going, no, I don't want to do this, then they're not ready for it, and they know it. And then there are some people who are they ready probably, for it. Uh, keep in mind, the only two words that were probably heard from you were all right. Three words are all ready for it. You and have to be like right here for it to hear you. Then there are some people who are already ready for it. And speaking as loud as I am. This thing I is sensitive. I speaking as loud as you are. No, you're not. <laughs> you little monkey. I only know that because you were standing here in one video and nobody heard anything you said. That's because you are speeding it up. No, not that video. This was a while ago. Oh. <laughs> but then there are some people who are ready, and he's in muddy head. Anyway, that is going way off the topic. <laughs> but after that first step, what then? Say you know both consented, both have the same mindset, think it might benefit. But both argue a lot. So how would it benefit? What line path would it benefit? What line would it not? Well, the two who argue, when they have the child, will they be focusing more on the child or on each other's bickering? If it's focused more on the child, then honestly that's where this statement is wrong the statement of couples are wrong to stay together for the kids if the kid actually helps move them away from the bickering and helps them more focus on what a family should be then actually the couple was right to stay together for that 
However, if the opposing happens where, um, yeah, there's the child, but what if the couple doesn't really focus on that and is so indelved into the arguments that are happening to the point where the child is nigh taken care of, the only reason they're able to survive is because the only part of the brain for these individuals who are able to make this happen are the ones who are just like is the one part where it's like feed it okay we're done back to what we were doing change its diaper okay we're done and yes i'm intentionally saying it that's what happens when someone has a mindset like that most of the time not all the time but most of the time however if people my point is when people start bickering and never focus on the child that was had, then yeah, couples are definitely wrong to stay together for that kind of thing because they're not even together for that thing. It's it's not for a child at all. Yes, they have a child, but if they're not focused on the child, they're not even together for the child anyway. This one kind of hits close to home because my mom was a single mom that raised two kids for a long time. Yeah, that's, if you guys want to hear more on that, and she's, if she's willing to talk about that, just let us know in the comments, and we can have a separate video later on for that kind of thing. But, I guess my, when it comes to this kind of thing, all in all, it's really a 50-50 role whether the statement is actually true or not. Couples can, if the statement originally said couples may, instead of are, if it was may, Couples may be wrong to stay together for the kids. That would be a much more accurate statement. But just to directly go, couples are wrong, that's putting the assumption that every single couple argues and never focuses on a child. Ever. Which, bull honky. Because I have come across so many different individuals some of them have unintentionally gotten pregnant. Some of them have done it by, you know, intentional means. Some of the unintentional circumstances are, you know, out of good heartedness. Some of them are dark tales that we're not going to get into on this video. As I said, we're not getting into it. I don't even know if you guys heard what Pink Fox said. I'm going to request you don't repeat it if you didn't, but whatever. Anyway... It really depends on circumstance. I don't agree with the statement that was originally said when I found it. If it was reworded slightly to give more of a 50-50 roll, then yeah, I would agree with it more. But the statement on its own is inaccurate. Maybe, maybe if you rewind far back en enough, time-wise, then sure, it might be more accurate. But to today's standards, it really depends on the person. There are 7.1 billion people alive on this planet, and at least, at least about half of them have reached a point where they probably are either in a relationship or married. And for those individuals, it's really up to how their mental actions respond to each other and respond to how important a child is to them determines whether or not this is actually true. And out of the 7.1 billion, from what I understand it, at least out of the people that I've met, it's a 50-50 role. This comes from personality itself. Do the personalities match that kind of thing? Or not? But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Um... These are just kind of my own personal opinions on this matter. Some people might think entirely differently on this statement. Um, but this is my opinion. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you think differently or if you agree with what was said. If you liked this video though one way or the other, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, got a suggestion for... Uh, something that you'd like discussed on here or if you'd rather just you know see what other random stuff i can grasp at i don't know let us know in the comments below if you have an idea 
Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos like this one? Click the link on the side of my head where they're trying to take you to one of... Oh, something over 200 at this point videos. These kind of stuff, if this kind of stuff doesn't quite float your boat, why not check the video out on the other side of my head where YouTube will give you an idea of something you might enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to have. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone. We hope to see you guys in another. Bye for now.